G'day folks, I just thought I'd clear up a little bit of confusion that some people have regarding a feature on the Unity and SDS series of scanners. It's something that keeps coming up every so often on various forums or um, multiple scanner help sites or whatever they may be, whatever platforms uh, are out there. Um, it pertains to the SDS, Unity and SDS series of scanners that, and it's the logical channel number finder feature. Uh, some people program in their systems um, for DMR and NXDN trunking and so forth and then go to use LCN Finder and don't have much success. The really important thing to remember regarding this feature is that you need to have an active system, you need to have an active site, and obviously within that active site you need to, the relevant frequencies for that site. The important part to remember here is that the system and any site within that system that you want to run the LCN finder on, they need to be turned on in your favorites list. If you have them avoided or turned off and then go to run LCN finder, the scanner will not find, uh, will not permit navigation to that system. So I'm just gonna give you a quick example here. As I turn off my, one of my favorites lists on my SDS 200E. Okay, turn off my aviation. Aviation's a, listening's a big love of mine. I'm gonna turn on a system. It's an NXDN trunking system we have here within Victoria. Uh, one of the many commercial trunk systems that we have available. I'll turn that on. Okay, so here we go. Quick one, vertical communications, which is Vertel, uh, whatever you want to call the system you can. I'm just using this as an example. It's one of many systems I have programmed in. Um, so, and as you can see, it is an active system. Now within this scanner for vertical communications one, so that's just the name I've given the system. I'm just gonna show you something. I go to manage favorites. Go down, set my, select my favorites list for Victoria. Review and edit, okay, vertical communications one. Okay, so some people seem to think that you have to have a fake or a false department programmed in and a fake or a false or a, a wild card, if you want to call it that, talk group programmed in in order for LCN Finder to work. Uh, you do not. So if I press yes, as you can see within this system, I don't have any departments. Uh, I just try and listen to anything and everything and see what happens to come my way. So because I have no department uh, listed, I can't put in a talk group at the moment, uh, or I don't have any talk groups saved, I should say. So I'm just using this to show that uh, LCN Finder will still work despite my not having a uh, department or a talk group, whether it be real or fake programmed in. Okay, I'm gonna head back out of this. So I've got my vertical communication system, one, active. Within that, I currently have four sites active. I'll show you my sites system manage favorites select it so edit site and here you can see I have available to me South Bank Mount Dandenong Lister Field and Moroni so and I have them all turned on at the moment and how I know I have them all turned on is because I have one two three four sites available as an option in my favorites list. So, but uh, from here, I'm gonna go into analyze. So I have my system active, that's the vertical communications one, and I have four sites active. I go into my menu, I go analyze, select LCN finder. You input the name of the system, that whatever the, you've called your system that you're monitoring. Uh, I'm just going to put V here, and what the scanner should do, it should come up with any options there that commence with the letter V. Yes, and there we go. It's presented to me, Vertical Communications 1, that's the name I've called it, 
and it presents that to me because I have it turned on in my favorites list. I hit yes, and there's my four sites. I can now press, I'm gonna select South Bank, which in my favorites list, I have that as site number one. I hit yes, and LCN Finder will start working its magic and finding the logical channel numbers for me. And there we go, it's already discovered one of them. Okay, so well, what I'm gonna do now is just to show you something. When I go out of this for a moment, no, I don't need to save them. I'm actually gonna turn off one of the sites and I'm gonna turn off the South Bank site, which is a site that I just started running LCN on, the 4.4.1. Now, the next time I run in, I go into analyze and the LCN finder, it should not offer to me as an option, the South Bank site. So again, I'm gonna select my system, which is still turned on. The system is turned on. Select yes. And there you go. Because I have turned off the South Bank site, it's now only offering me the sites that I have turned on and active within the uh, system itself. Okay. So I can't stress this enough, folks. You need the system, a system name. Within the system, you need a site. And then obviously within the site, you need the relevant frequencies for the site, for LCN Finder to work its magic. Um, you do not need a department. You do not need a talk group or a fake or a false or, you know, wildcard talk group active. I'm gonna turn site number one back on. So 4.4.1. Remember, this is just my programming. So now I can see that site number one's turned back on. Go back into analyze, LCM finder, select my name. And there you go, South Bank's offered there as an option again. Okay, and LCN Finder will once again start working its magic, and there you go. Now, just to also prove something else, I'm actually going to turn this system off. And there you go, it's saying to me at the moment there's nothing to scan because I've got all my other favorites off and everything at the moment. Now, if I go into Analyze and want to run LCN Finder on that system, do what I did before. There you go. Because I have the system turned off, it's not offering it as an option for me to select. Okay, again, system needs to be on in your favorites list. And within that system, you need to have, you can have one site or however many sites you've got, they all need to be turned on in order for them to be offered as an option to select on LCN Finder. If you don't do that, uh, you're not going to have much luck. Turn it back on. And now that I've turned it back on, it should appear there as an option for me. There it is. Okay. All right, folks. Look, hopefully that clears up a little bit of confusion for some people as to why they might not be having much success. System needs to be turned on in your favorites list. Within that system, you need to make sure you've got your sites turned on. And then obviously for each site, you need the relevant frequencies. That's a little bit more work, unfortunately. As good as the uni dens can be, they can't do everything for you just yet. All right, folks, uh, I shall leave you to it. I'm going to get back to scanning the stuff that I really like. And that's to do with my aviation. I've got the roulettes up and active at the moment for a PR event for the upcoming Grand Prix. Uh, and taking a media personality for a ride. So I shall let you go. And if you've got any questions, please feel free to hit us up with a message and we can try and clarify a bit further for you. Okay, folks, happy scanning.